All right, people, welcome back to the card review. So this is a card that you guys probably wanted me to talk about. You probably wanted my opinion because everybody's talking about this card. So I'm going to go ahead and give you my opinion because, you know, you know, Meg Capital G said one thing, Sigma said one thing. So I got to go ahead and put my two cents in and give you guys my opinion about what I think about this card. So today we are looking at Galaxy Cyclone. So this is a normal spell card that reads, Target, one set, spell or trap card on the field, destroy it. During your main phase, except the turn that this card was sent to the graveyard, you can banish this card from your graveyard, then target one face-up spell or trap card on the field, and destroy it. You can only use this effect of Galaxy Cyclone once per turn. So what do I think about this card? I think it's a fairly good card. You know, I'm a big fan of, you know, back row destruction. I can't stand back row, so we, you can kind of get kind of like a two-for-one, kind of like a... It kind of reminds me of a... Uh, uh, like a break D skill, like... Except with MST, like if you like, right, right, because you got you have effect on field and you have cool effect in the graveyard. Can't, of course, you can't evade the turn that it's uh, sent, but you know it's still pretty useful. Still pretty useful. So um, we're just gonna take this one step at a time because you know it's been going back and forth and back and forth. A lot of people with opinion about this card, so we're just gonna take this effect one step at a time and go over this card and determine where it sits in the standings of the back row destruction. You know, is it the next MST or you know what or what is it? You know. So, let's start off with the first part. So, target. One set spell or trap card on the field. Destroy it. So, you go ahead and play this card on a set spell or trap. Even if they chain it, I think that it still gets destroyed. Because all you have to do is just target it. And when you target it, it's face down. doesn't matter if it flips up. It's still destroyed. So, in a sense, it's kind of like Night Beam. You know? It's sort of like Night Beam. They can still chain it. So, you know, if it's something that's chainable, they can still chain it. But uh, it will still get rid of the card. So, you can go ahead and pop a set spell or trap. You know, anywhere on the field, yours or your opponent's, but it's probably going to be your opponent. Um, you know, one of the problems with this card is that, you know, if your opponent doesn't have a set spell or trap, they really can't, pl you can't play this card. So, that's where it's kind of like, and it's, and, and it's kind of sitting, you know, in, that set, in that sense, it's sitting in the same boat as Night Beam, and I'll give it that. It's sitting in the same boat as Night Beam, in which... Uh, if your opponent doesn't have any set spell traps, they can't really play it. So, you know, just like your opponent's, you know, you know, continuous sp trap cards are, you know, being really dominant, you know, floodgates, uh, you know, just during your draw phase, your opponent just flips up that vanities and you have another set spells of traps. They can't even play the Galaxy Cyclone out of their hand unless they set one of their own cards and pop it. So even get the Galaxy Cyclone in the graveyard to use the second effect during the next main phase. But, uh, you know, if you just go ahead and just go, all right, Galaxy Cyclone, go ahead and pop that card, you know, just target it while it's set, even if they chain it, it's still going to get destroyed. So that's actually pretty good. So... The problem where Night Beam is better than Galaxy Cyclone is the fact that your opponent can't activate that card response unless they, you know, uh, kind of start a separate chain and jimmy it in there. So, you know, let's say, for example, your opponent just goes, you know, uh, you know, a hero list, special summon, shadow mist, search for, you know, mass change, and then sets it. You just be like, all right, you know, Galaxy, I mean, Night Beam, bam, hit that freaking uh, uh, mass change, no dark wall, because they can't chain it. But Galaxy Cyclone, they can chain it. So that's 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 the problem with that. You know, that, that they can respond. So if they have a response to it, they can play it, unlike Night Beam. But this card has a second effect, and that's where, you know, it might be argued that this card is better than Night Beam, you know? Uh, so, of course, uh, during your uh, main phase, except the turn that this card is sent to the graveyard, you can banish this card to target a face-out spell or trap card on the field and destroy it. So, of course, what does this do? This gives you an out to those Floodgate cards, you know? It gives you an out to that Vanities. It gives you an out to that uh, uh, that Scale Drain. Uh, it can go ahead and pop that Scout. It can give you an out to that Shadow Imprisoning, that Light Imprisoning. It gives you an out. Of course, you got a way to turn, but it gives you an out. So, you know, you can go ahead and just Galaxy Cyclone something, you know, and it's sitting in the graveyard just waiting for you, you know, unless they, you know, mess you up this turn. That the turn that you activate it, but it's just waiting for you. It's just waiting for you. So, you know, when you're probably full of that, you'll be like, all right, get you. Now, this is the biggest problem with this card. The biggest problem, you know? You know, the whole, like, oh, well, if they don't have a set card, you can't play this card in your hand, and it's stuck, and you have to pop your own card to get in the card. No. The biggest problem with this card, it's spell speed one. That's the biggest problem. Because this card is spell speed one, that's a problem. That's really a big problem. Because you can't do plays that you would usually do with MST. You know, uh, you know, trying to talk, saying like, oh, this is the new MST, this is the only, no, this gets two pop. No, MST is still the best. 
MST is still the best because it is spell speed 2. Because you can chain, it is spell speed 2, it's a quick play. Because this card is in a quick play, it cannot compare to MST. And that's a big problem. That is a big problem. Alright, so say, for example, I have Vanity's Emptiness, right? I have Vanity's Emptiness already set, right? I already have Vanity's Emptiness set. And I go, and I go, Vanity's Emptiness, right? I activate that ending's emptiness. You know, you, you go like, all right, all right, let, let me get this straight. Right, I'm trying to get this example right because in the side case, you would just throw the cycle in. All right, all right, all right. I have multiple set cards, but one of them is Vanity Emptiness, so you don't know what the galaxy set going, right? You go, summon tour guide, activate effect. I go, flip up vanities. You can't go chain galaxy cyclone on your vanities to allow you to get the special summon. No, it's only spell speed one, so it can't even chain in response to the Vanity's Emptiness like MST can. So if, you know, if MST was in that situation, you went tour guy, summon tour guy, and your opponent went chain Vanity's, you can go chain MST, pop the Vanity's, and then chain resolve backwards, Vanity's will be off the field, you get your tour guy summoned, you can just inspire something. With this, you gotta wait a whole nother turn. So if you went summon tour guide, activate tour guide, and your opponent went chain Vanity's, you know, I, you know, what would, you, you would just, you just lost, your special summon would just fizzle, you know. But it's good with the great whole graveyard effect where you know next turn, just have to turn that you can go ahead and banish it, pop that in, and you can be free from it, right? So that's the problem. That's that I think that's the problem is that it's not spell speed two. You know, your opponent goes, you know, play the scout, scout, search, do all their cliche shit. If you had MST, you could just go they, they you know, play scout, pay eight hundred, MST. You know? Well this on their hand, you know, it might be too late by the time you go ahead and pop that scout. So, because it's spell speed 1, it's just a little bit too slow to be up there with MST. MST is still the best. So, if anybody's thinking that Galaxy Cyclone, you know, take all my MSTs out my deck, Galaxy Cyclones now, no. No, 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 no. MST is still better. Now, what this card does allow is an interesting, you know, kind of uh, breakthrough skill mechanic. Uh, just like breaking skill mechanic, in which case you can go ahead and pop face of some trap cards when it's in the grave by milling. So definitely dex that mill. Definitely, definitely, definitely go ahead and play this because it's kind of because I know I could be seeing you know in, you know infernoids and stuff. They play MST. They mill the MST. It's gone. This on their hand can go ahead and sit in the graveyard and you can go ahead and use it when you're good and ready. But once again, keep in mind even its graveyard effect. You're still only spell speed one. You can still only use it during your turn. You're still only spell speed one. So it's not like literally this card is sitting in your graveyard while you're using Infernoids, you know. Well, actually, Infernoids are inherent, so it's not like they can chain vanities or something. But, you know, I'm trying to speak hypothetically, all right. We'll, 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 go, with, we'll, go, with, we'll go with Burning Abyss, all right. This card is in your graveyard. It's, it hasn't been set there this turn. It's been there. You know, you summon that tour guide, your opponent, and you have effect. Your opponent chains out vanities. This card can't, once again, it can't do it from the hand, and it can't do it from the from the graveyard. It's only spell speed one, so it can't chain to that vanity, so your card's in fill. This card is really good in Infernoids. I definitely give it Infernoids. You like to mill a lot. You can go ahead and mill a couple of these, because your special summons are inherent. you got to put that vanities before the end of the activate. You can't, you know, chain and response. So, you know, you're going to go ahead and flip out that vanities. They can just be like, all right, I'm banish, pop, and then go. So, Infernoids, yeah. Yes, Infernoids, this is your card, Infernoids. This is Infernoids' card. This is great for them, you know. Uh, Burning Abyss, you know, they can probably play a little bit of it, too. You know, uh, I'm, not, I'm not saying that you should take out MST for it. Definitely not. Definitely not. But uh, it's still a really good card. You know, go ahead and mill them Dante's. Dante, go ahead and, um, you know, pop that Vanity's Emptiness or that Shadow Imprisoning that's locking you down. I definitely would say yes. Yes. You know, it's a great card for decks that mill. Uh, decks that don't mill, I, I'd still say stick with MST. And I'd still say stick with MST overall, you know. Uh, certain particular decks, I'd say, I'd say MST is the best. MST is the best. I would put this maybe on par with Twister. Where Twister is that spell speed to, you know, this card kind of gets the sets and you can, uh, you know, but it's spell speed too, so you can go change the response, but it can only hit face up. But it's there, it's there, you know. Uh, now, one of the other arguments is, is this card better than Nightbeam? I would say yes. I would say that this card is better than Nightbeam. They both destroy, uh, you know, a set spell or trap. They both do that. Uh, you know, your opponent can activate in response. This card, they can. But, you know, that may be situational, especially depending on what time in the duel. 
Uh, they're both spell speed one, so, you know, it's not like you can change them, so, you know, they're both spell speed one. But this card actually, as an additional effect, to go ahead and handle those chase out spell trap cards that Night Beam can't handle. So, you know, for example, if your opponent goes Night Beam and they target a card, you can go, all right, well, I'm going to chain MST, and then I'm going to chain my vanities that you targeted with Night Beam. Oh, your Night Beam just fizzled. You know, chain, you know. Night beam, your 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 face down vanities. All right, chain MST on your uh, night beam. Chain vanities. All right, I'm not set anymore. Now, this on the other hand, you know, uh, it because the card for for uh for night beam it has to be face down, it has to be set. This card on the other hand, all you have to do is target it. So all you have to do is just go Galaxy Cyclone, target that face down card. I don't even care if you chain it. I think it still gets popped. I think. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I think it does. Because all you have to do is target. It's kind of like Scrap Dragon, where all you have to do is commit to the target. You know, so this card is good. I, I definitely admit it's good. It's not you know, emit, you know, replace MST or MST get hit because we got some move over MST. No, definitely not. It's good. Ain't MST good? MST is still the king of all spell and trap negation. I mean, destruction. You know, even Heavy Storm. I still think that MST still might be the king. You know, because you can't, you know, that spell speed too, that spell speed too is huge, huge, you know? You know, you can have, you can sit there with a heavy, heavy storm all you want in your hand, but if your opponent goes off with the cleaves, you know, you know, you're just like, uh, you know, I, have, I, you know, like, oh, I max see you, and I draw into heavy storm, and the cleaves like player's like, okay, well, I'm play scout, and search, and play, and something, 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 kick, kill, kick, hit, 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 OTK, you're dead, you're dead? Oh, and that heavy storm? Oh, you had to wait till your next turn. Well, you know, that MST. It could have been face down since they would have put this scout after the 800 MST. You know, I think MST is the most played card in Yu Gi Oh! So, you know, MST is still there ever since it came out. And it seems like they made MST and then they've just been making cards that are just not as good as MST because, you know, it's like the Blue Eyes White Dragon, you know? They, they made Blue Eyes, 3,000 attack, but they're never going to make another normal monster strong that. They made MST, and they're not going to make any card that's better than MST. They'll give you some interesting text like this, but MST is still going to be the best. So, I'd say yes, uh, this card is good. I will admit that. I'd say it's better than Night Beam. I will give it that. Uh, but I'd say MST is still the best. Um, if you're playing with Frontoids, definitely run it. I'd say go ahead, if you have room, go ahead and put in Cleaves, because, you know... You can go ahead and pop that Shadow and Prison Mirror that's locking you down. Uh, you can go ahead and hit that Vanities or Skill Drain or whatever. So, uh, you know, and, you know, you're just milling with Dante. So, you know, get a little bit of Bang Free Buck, just like with Breakthrough Skill. Uh, I'd say, yeah, it's a pretty good card. Is Like I said, I, I'm probably being redundant, but I gave my opinion about this card. If it was Spell Speed 2, whoo, if it was Spell Speed 2. But it's not. It's only Spell Speed 1, so... So, uh, there you go. There's my talk about Galaxy Cyclone. So, tell me what you guys think about Galaxy Cyclone in the comment section below. So, apologize this one being kind of a long one, but I had to, you know, go over it all. Go over it all. So, does it, is it better than I-Beam? Can it replace I-Beam? Yes. Does it replace MST? No. Alright, so, uh, thanks for watching, thanks for all the support, and I will see you guys in the card review uh, next Thursday. Alright guys, thanks for watching.